the solicits because obviously i mean admittedly i do think this will be a quicker solicit than normal because this is going to be the second half of all of the night terrors books replacing mm -hmm. most of the main stuff so that is just going to be a list of names basically as, as we come to them um as predicted though so this is the solicits for september but as we predicted last week when they announced that doomsday special which is at the end of august they've snuck in a couple of books at the end of august on its yeah. fifth week but uh we'll work through the solicits september here we go uh we get action comics presents doomsday special issue one uh by dan waters and eddie barrows we talked about mm -hmm. this uh when it was announced last week so that's cool uh what we haven't talked about yet is Nort's illustrated swimsuit edition issue one Oh my goodness. Which is a 48 page one shot coming in the, that last uh, Tuesday in August. And it's got. It's written by Steve Orlando and others, but the art is by a long list of names, which I assume are a yeah. lot of one shot or a lot of one page, like pin up oh, style. Yeah, a lot art. of pin ups because it's, it says collecting some of the steamiest swimsuit covers from DC's best talent. So. Yeah, y'all want to get bonked? Go ahead and get this uh, I issue. Yeah, I wild stuff. Obviously, not something that we're going to look at really because it's a bit of a gimmick. Mm -hmm. But if you're into it, by all means, go and enjoy your. The cover that they have here is hilarious because it looks like Nort is blow drying himself with the, a Green Lantern construct um, after going swimming. So that's that's kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, so. Let's move on to World's Finest Issue 18, uh, which has got a nice yeah. cover by Dan Moore. It's got it's got that split thing where half of it's yeah. Superman, half of it's Batman, and they're, you know, yeah. uh, looks good. Uh, Travis Moore on art on this issue, which is a mm -hmm. solid artist, actually. He obviously, yeah. Dan Moore is off to do other things at this point, uh, yeah. but Travis Moore is a solid replacement. And he sure. did the, the uh, Robin Back in Time uh, issue. Yeah, yeah, and he's he's, yeah. he's he's done some. Uh, I think he's done some of Taylor's Nightwing. I want to say, yep, uh, stuff. So, and that that was always a good fill in mm -hmm. for uh, the regular art. So, uh, we got Steelworks issue three. We have Superman Annual, which is for August. Are these all August books? Oh, I think they were. I didn't want to correct you because I wasn't sure because the first couple. So I think this is I, August. This is August solicits. I could yeah. have sworn we'd already had August solicits. Mm -mm. Well, because that's why I said last week we were getting yeah. books for the end of August. So, okay, right. fair, fair enough. We're, we're, we're on August solicits. Clearly, I have just lost track of, of everything here. Um, <laughs> I wonder how many people were waiting for me to realize. Like, when's he going to realize that this is actually just all August well, solicits? The further we went down, the more I was seeing August, and I was eventually going to say something. <laughs> but, yeah. I was too scared. <clears throat> I was too scared of me uh, whipping him out of place. Well, yeah, because he constantly yells at me, don't... <laughs> don't correct me on air so i have never yeah. said that in my life <laughs> you make me sound like a tyrant matt <laughs> uh you guys see how he acts <laughs> how dare you uh so we got superman annual uh for 2023 coming out at the end of yep. august um which is williamson writing with a few artists on there uh Strahr, max rayner jack herbert and keatlin yarsky so yeah so it's obviously going to tease the next star. It's going to do a bunch of stuff, but uh, I do prefer when it's the ongoing writer who's on the annual as opposed mm -hmm. to... I still have nightmares of that Aquaman annual that came out during uh, Kelly Sue's run, but it wasn't yeah. her doing the annual. It was just some random fill-in story, and it was terrible. Yeah. Like, I have... I, I, sometimes, I wake up in a cold sweat sometimes thinking about annuals like that. That's how much uh, Pete dreams of Aquaman. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> what can I say? I like to get it's not wet. even Momoa Aquaman, so you know. No, not at all. Yeah. I love how Matt just talked over my really dirty joke. I'll just move on. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it was about getting wet, everyone. Okay. All yeah, right. Uh, yeah, yeah, thanks. Right. Uh, Night Terrors issue three. Night Terrors mm -hmm. issue four. Obviously, the, the two month uh, mini event. And then, of course, Night Terrors Night's End issue one. So this is a one shot, not part of the the two two yeah. short things that, that have already been announced uh, this is by williamson with howard porter on art um so this is tying into the story 
So they're giving us more tie-ins to read, so thank you for that, DC. Uh, I'm reading these solicits, and after reading Superman 4, there is not a villain that Williamson will not create that doesn't have Doctor in their name. <laughs> so yeah, just just to run down all these Night Terrors issue twos, which are all the, the, the tie-in mm-hmm. two, two-part series that we obviously talked about last solicits. we got Night Terrors, I'm not even going to say Night Terrors, right? Just assume Night Terrors is in yeah. front of all these titles. Batman issue two, Detective Comics issue two, Nightwing issue 2, Poison Ivy issue 2, Catwoman issue 2, Harley Quinn issue 2, The Joker issue 2, Robin issue 2, oh that's a crowbar, very good, uh, Superman issue 2, Action Comics issue 2, The Flash issue 2, Wonder Woman issue 2, Titans issue 2, Shazam issue 2, Green Lantern issue, that's a pretty cool cover on Green Lantern, Night Terror's Green Lantern issue 2 to be yeah. fair, uh, Black Adam issue 2, Angel Breaker issue two, Zatanna issue two, Punchline issue two. It's not alphabetical, and I thought Zatanna might be the last one. Ravager issue two, and that's us. <laughs> that's the Night yeah. Terrors stuff done. We did it. Okay, we did it. Yes. How many of those issue twos will we read? Well, it depends how many those issue ones are good. <laughs> so we'll find out. Yep. We'll find out in July. Well, I mean, Mary Marvel apparently stars in the Shazam one, so I'll definitely be reading both of those. Oh, there's definitely some. Obviously, some of them have good creators on them, some of them less exciting, but I imagine I'll try most of the issue ones, and we'll see, yeah. like, which ones we want to read for the next month. I mean, my honestly, my bigger worry is that I'm just going to hate the main <laughs> thing. Yeah. We have the Penguin issue one. This is Tom King's book. So we heard this uh, be announced mm-hmm. or talked about recently. Uh, art by Raphael De La Torre, and uh, yeah, so this is a. Does this say how many issues it is? Is this not a many? I don't think so. I assumed this was like a twelve issue uh, Tom King thing. Yeah, usually it says down here of, and there's no of, so yeah, weird. There's also a Penguin issue zero, which we talked about. That's the the, the backups. From ah, Zorsky. okay, you're right, you're right, right, yeah, that's, uh, that's quite right, quite right, quite right, quite right, so, yeah, anyway, obviously, new Tom King book, uh, who, mm-hmm. like, quite frankly, at this point, his track record is so exceptional, barring Heroes in Crisis, which feels less his fault and more just kind of, mm-hmm. like, the overall direction he was told to go in, and yeah, his Batman run did also kind of falter, but mm-hmm. I also do have to wonder how much of that was also, like, you can't do this, you have to do this, you have to set up this, right. you know, like, uh, not that I'm saying it's not all on him. I think, like, the Nightmares arc, for example, does feel like just one of his ideas that wasn't that great. <laughs> but by and large, like, his track record at DC at this point is pretty exceptional. On stuff like this, it seems like hard boiled, gritty yeah. type stuff, too. So, you know, should be good. I, I loved his penguin in um, the clock one. Uh, what was that one called? Uh, killing um, Time. Killing Time, yeah. So. Uh, his penguin was, was pretty pretty vicious in that, so let's see how retired penguin is now. Yeah, yeah, it sounds uh sounds good. So we got Hot Girl issue two, so that's the six issue mini that start in the prior month, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have Unstoppable Doom Patrol issue five. I'm glad at least some of these books I'm enjoying aren't taking a break. Uh, yeah. So that's nice. Uh, we have World's Finest Teen Titans issue two. Uh, so God, this is such a great cover. <laughs> that is a pretty fun cover. But the is that Raven's head over the spooky. House. I think I think so. Yeah, but it just it feels because it's Somni, so it feels properly Silver Age, it, but also new. It looks kind of Scooby Doo. I feel like Scooby Doo yeah. would be out of place on that. Yeah. So that's kind of fun. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that that series. Um, and we got Adventures of Superman, John Kent issue six. This is Tom Taylor wrapping up his mm-hmm. his mini series and his time on uh John Kent in general. Mm-hmm. We have Superboy: The Man of Tomorrow issue five. We have Batman the Brave and the Bold issue four, uh, which uh, what was the Tom King and Garrett story already done by issue four? Looking like it. Yeah, I guess that's only three parts. Okay, fair enough. Although they were introducing the brutal Mister Baseball, so uh, and it's Jones Culver, not not uh, Williamson. So if it was Doctor Baseball, it was definitely Williamson. <laughs> uh, Tales of the Titans issue two. Uh, Tiny Howard. So the the Raven one. Yeah, and then we got Spirit World issue four. Mm-hmm. We have the Vigil issue four. We have City Boy issue four. 
It all makes sense. They all started the same month, uh, that line of books. Then we Ooh. got Catwoman Uncovered, which I assume is just a, a series of covers, given the title. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Same with Poison Ivy Uncovered. Uh, and then we have... I have a spare $6. Of course you do. Uh, then we have Batman Beyond Neo Gothic Issue 2. Harley Quinn back, Black, White, and Redder Issue 2. Uh, the Riddler Year 1 Issue 6, which is the end of that. Uh, mm-hmm. book and then we have batman white knight presents generation joker issue four the sandman universe night country glass house issue four peacemaker tries hard issue four batman incorporated issue 11 uh batman the adventures continue season three issue eight i don't have a whole lot to say in a bunch of these because obviously they're just yeah yeah yeah, these these are the books we usually don't have much to say on. It's just they've taken away all the books we normally do have something to say on. Right, because they're night terrors now. They're night terrors. Yes, uh, Danger Street issue eight though. That's a cover. Uh, yeah, that's a spooky cover for night terrors. Very very uh, scary cover. There's <laughs> some uh... Danger Street is what it is. <laughs> yeah, uh, especially considering that's Fornes, which doesn't really look like Fornes. So no. props. No, uh, it's not here, but there's a variant cover by Mike Grell, which is an interesting. Yeah. Uh, which I'm assuming has to do with Warlord, considering this is book eight, titled Warlord. Uh, so. That makes sense. Yeah, mm-hmm. makes sense. So that's cool. Uh, and then DC Ruby, issue seven, Fables 161, uh, Multiversity, Harley Screws Up the DCU, issue six, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You, one, two, three, Static, Shadows of Dakota, issue six, The Batman, Scooby-Doo Mysteries, issue 11, uh, The Omega Men, issue three, Facsimile edition, Wildcats issue ten. That wraps up all the single issues. Uh, after that, there's Nice House in the Lake Deluxe Edition. So the nice hardcover of uh, yep, of that coming out. Um, there's a Ghost Maker slash Clown Hunter by James Tynan the Fourth trade. That I whack. I love Tynan, but if there was ever a book of his stuff to not appeal to us, <laughs> I mean, I don't really mean Clown Hunter, but Ghost Maker, I could uh. Yeah, this is, uh, this is all the backups from uh, like one of his Batman arcs, plus like stories from Joker Warzone and you know all those very just all those loose stories that were about one of these two, effectively yep. during his run. So all in one convenient place for me not to read. Yes, nice easy to know. And there's Deceased Deluxe Edition, the first series, uh, mm-hmm. which you know makes some sense. Um. And then we got uh, DC Horror Presents Sergeant Rock vs. the Army of the Undead collection. Mm-hmm. We have Power Girl Returns by Leah Williams, so that'll be the okay. the action comics backups, I assume, plus yep. whatever else is plus relevant. Plus Lazarus Planet, Assault on Krypton 1, and Power Girl Special 1. So there you go. It'll be that whole, that whole introductory thing yeah. in one spot. Uh, you might pick that up too. Connor's favorite book, Tim Drake, Robin, mm-hmm. Volume 1, uh, Mystery at the Marina. Talk about Scooby Doo sounding. I know <laughs> that's like a Scooby Doo story. Uh, Wonder Woman: Blood and Guts, the deluxe edition. So this what? is just the how many issues? Is Azrael, Azrael and Chain. Well, yeah, but that's not the whole run, though. It is uh, Wonder Woman zero through twelve, featuring a brand new cover. So, so that's a third of the run. So do you think they're going yeah. to do three volumes of this uh, in this format? I do. Yeah, I do. They're gonna keep bleeding that dry. Because I, I I don't feel like any part of that runs like work works on its own. Like it feels like you either read the run or you don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it well, and that's why I think they'll always be printing it in different versions like this is because it is pretty standalone. You know, it's it's a very unique Wonder Woman story. So, uh, Batman and Robin Eternal Omnibus. Oof. Oh wow. Yeah, the weekly series from the New Fifty Two. Oof. And that was the, that was the second weekly series because Batman Eternal was first, if I remember right. mm Hmm. Uh, Zatanna and the Ripper Volume 1. Why is Zatanna got brown hair? She's got this? blonde tips. She's got like a a fade. Yeah, but her hair is usually dark. Like like jet black. Uh, I don't know. She's trying something new. People try different hairstyles. <laughs> True. Well, I wonder if it has to do with the story of taking out Jack the Ripper. So, man, I might want to read this. This might seem good. Uh, there's a Dead Boy Detectives Omnibus coming. Uh, mm-hmm. eight hundred pages. Do not drop that on your foot, please. Yeah. Uh, static up all night is uh, I think that's one of the original graphic novels. I want to say. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we got Batgirl Year One New Edition. So it's nice to reprint that because it's a very, very good story. Okay, I've never read it, so this might be oh. the time. 
Yeah. Unless it's just a paperback, though. It's not like a fancy deluxe or yeah. anything, which is a shame. It's okay. Then, then after that, we got a Batgirls uh, Volume 3, which is, you know, more <laughs> more of the current arc. Yeah. What's that? 13 to 19 and the mm -hmm. annual. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. The, the series is going up to issue 20. What, <laughs> what's happening to issue 20 <laughs> if it's not in this trade? Yeah. I, that's probably just a mistake there. It's a probably it probably is supposed to say thirteen to twenty, right. plus the annual, just because. So that's eight issues. That's about uh, a trade, right? Yeah, I mean it's slightly bigger than normal, but mm -hmm. it's not like unheard of by any means. Um, because unless issue twenty is like really separate, but it feels like it won't be. It feels like it'll just be no. the end of the arc based yeah. on what we've been reading. So. Be a nice goodbye. Uh, Nightfall Omnibus Volume One, a new edition. Yep. So they're reprinting the Nightfall Omnibuses, which is. Cool, big big collection there. Uh, you got Batman Volume Four, the Cowardly Lot. This is uh, the the Tynan Run uh, mm -hmm. paperback Volume Four. Uh, Batman One Dark Knight, the Black Label book's getting its soft cover, mm -hmm. so that makes sense. Uh, Batman: The Golden Age Omnibus Volume Ten. I you know I love that they've been committed to this and that they've gotten to Volume Ten and these big chunks because this is going to have Batman eighty six to one hundred and Detective Comics two eleven to two thirty two. So you can now have the first 100 issues of Batman, plus all the detective comics that were running alongside it, in sequential yeah. order, in nice big hardcovers. Like, I, everything should be available. Everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and hopefully that means that these, these are all, like, making their way to, like, nice remastered digital versions as well for the, yeah. the service or whatever. So, uh, all very cool. Uh, DC Horror presents Soul Plumber. That's getting its collection. Harley Quinn Volume 2. Mm -hmm. uh, soft cover. Uh, I Zombie, the complete series omnibus. Oh, cool! That's fun. Uh, yeah. So I'll be. I don't think I realized that was DC. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it was on WB, so maybe it was Vertigo originally. You're such an old man. The WB. CW. God damn, it's I got not, caught. It's not been WB since 2006. <laughs> yes, I know, but in my head, it's always the WB, and then I always have to autocorrect to CW, and I got caught. Because I am an old man. This isn't even like Supernatural. It started just before it yeah. changed name. I Zombie didn't start for years no, it after. it was only on the CW. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, Batman Scooby-Doo Mysteries Volume 3 collection. The Fellspire Chronicles Book 1 by Philip Kennedy Johnson and Ricardo this Federici. Must... That's an the interesting name, yeah. Yeah, no, this is the Last God stuff. Ah. Uh, so. I mean, I can't say that I don't like that creative team. Because I do, mm -hmm. but you know. Uh speaking of those golden age omnibuses, Wonder Woman, the Golden Age Omnibus Volume 5. So not as far as Batman, but still going along. She's driving a Monopoly car. She is. She's got like a little yeah. cart thing, yeah. yeah. It's it's uh it's something. <laughs> what's what's that got here? It's got Wonder Woman 35 to 47 and Sensation <sighs> Comics 90 to 104. Uh and they're also releasing Wonder Woman the Silver Age Omnibus mm -hmm. Volume 2, uh, which has got Wonder Woman 124 to 149. So there's no Sensation Comics anymore, it's just, uh... So, what's actually interesting about that is that uh, they're doing the Silver Age before they've finished the Golden Age, and I'm sure they've done right. the same with Batman and Superman, but I've just not noticed. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh... Which, do I mean, I think the Silver Age is a lot more appealing. The Golden Age is a tough read. Like, I, you it's know, a I, tough pain because of, of cultural differences. Cultural differences? Like... I also just don't think they're, like... The arts of its time, the ratings of its time, like forgetting even just problematic yeah. attitudes towards certain things, just the but rating styles weird. That was that was my more yeah. cultural change too, is that comics were written differently. You know, yeah. it was kind of Stan Lee when you talk about the Silver Age, right? The Stan Lee method kind of upended that old style. Because I I would love to go back and read some old uh, Captain America, but I've always been afraid. So I want to read that Simon Kirby stuff, but I'm just afraid it's gonna feel like old-timey and not in a good way uh, yeah but yeah so they still have a lot to go because if that is it ends at 47 at the golden age mm -hmm. right so it depends how many how much sensation comics runs for because if, if at any point in that ends and uh, it's just wonder woman it'll go much quicker yeah because then it says here that it's uh, 124 to 149 in the silver age for volume two so you you'd think that if the first Silver Age omnibus was roughly the same amount, they only got to have like one more of the Golden Age uh, ready to go. So uh, uh, very possibly. Mm -hmm. You've got me, me doing math. You've got me. You got me curious. I'm just going to go. Yeah. 
Uh, look. What are we Gucci. doing? One Silver Age omnibus. Let's have a look here. What's that going at? That's 98 to 123. So then, yeah. So maybe, so, depending uh, on the sensations. Well, they could have two. They could have two still of the Golden Age to go. I'd say, uh, I would say it's at least two, but it could be as many as four if Sensation is running the entire right. time. Maybe even yeah. five at a push, but... Uh, God, so many comics before even what, you know, we recognize as, as canon. I know, I know, it's, it's, it's nuts. Uh, but, hey, everything should be available, even if I never am going I, to read any of the Golden yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah.